Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we're celebrating the holidays. Yay! We've got some bows up. Happy holidays! We're, we're going to be playing some Christmas games, Yay. and the cats might even get a present. Ooh. Shh, don't tell them, though. They don't know yet, and did, they don't speak English. So. Did the intro choke? Did it shut it? Oh, it always chokes. But um, Does it? <laughs> at the beginning, it always goes... Uh, 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 oh... You think it's part of it, but yeah. it's not part of it. It's supposed to be steady. Um, did it choke in a different way? Well, yeah, oh, I was local just wondering. Local well, issue. Okay. Um, but today we're going to be playing both the 2600 and 7800. Woo! And not only that, Money Fudster has given us all a present Yay! by having a world exclusive world premiere of his new game. And it's secret. It's a secret new game, so nobody out there knows what it is. And I've donned my uh, annual uh, Atari sweater. <laughs> um, it is a great sweater. It, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's it is a great good. sweater. Now we've got some snow falling in the room. It's yeah, very strange. Yeah, I like it. The cats uh, seem to completely not notice the, the snow falling. Though. No, no, it no. doesn't bother them too much. <laughs> Meow. Um, so today we are going to be playing... One second. Let me get my notes up here. We're going to be playing Muddy Vision's secret new game for the 7800. Mm -hmm. Can't say what it is yet but uh we'll find out soon enough we're also going to be playing last stand halloween and you're like halloween <laughs> why are you playing a halloween game there's uh, got to be something christmasy in it, that game. It, it should be renamed it should be called last stand holidays holidays okay um because it goes through more he started off with halloween stuff in it yeah but then it goes through more than just halloween stuff mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and uh it's not doom <laughs> He's narrowed it down quite a lot. Uh, yeah. From, from so, so we possibly know being doomed to not, not being doomed. doomed. There we go. Uh, we're also going to be playing uh, Bell Hopper for the 2600 and Reindeer Rescue for the 2600. Both we've played in previous years. Okay, okay cool, cool, cool. Um, But we haven't played in a while, and there really hasn't been any um, holiday games that have been that have come out recently. In the, in the last little while, no. Yeah. We so, went through the catalog, so uh, yeah. we're, we ran, ran a bit low on ones we hadn't played yeah, before. Yeah, nobody's added. Okay this year no, any that i could find anyway yeah no someone might be inspired for next year so uh hopefully yeah. that would be nice uh is the bunny one supposed to be easter themed uh no no is it i don't know it's it's uh, it's uh he's hopping in the snow so i oh I, fair enough yeah i think it's i think it's it could be Easter. It's winter themed. It's winter themed. Winter yeah. theming is fine <laughs> for this time of year. But first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, Ooh. of which a lot resubscribed during uh, the Atari Age. I days. know. So we got to bump so back much. up. Thank you. Yes. I still haven't resubscribed. <laughs> what an example you're setting. <laughs> Terrible example. I know. I just haven't logged in in a long yeah. time. Uh, 8 bit poet Elnifer, Andrew Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 874, Atari H Beef, Supreme Bear, Poke Up, Bruno Sticks, Buffalo Pinball, A Cafe Man 2D, Chelsea Dunham, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cur Crazy Curtis, Cubanismo, Sierra Rebo, Dan If He's Drifting Snow, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Def, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Girapper, Johnny WC, Kubito, Kenzo, Carl G, Croco 20, Scunner, Veltiver, Lambda Express, Lower Crack, and Mocker Yannis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Michael Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Sarn, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Made, and Nostalgic, Cohog, 2600 IR, Raymond CRC70, Ready Ghost, Spendless VG, Reventuli, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spice, Ramirez, Spindly 1970, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes Track, MD, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVD, Double Down, and X Can X. If you would like to support the show, click subscribe. Or if you just want to know when we're airing shows, mm -hmm. just hit follow. Um. I don't know if you want to get the cats yeah. um, present. We do have a present for the right cats. Now. And, um, what better day to give them the present no, than today okay. on the show where um, they can appreciate it and uh, you can see what they got. I don't think it's wrapped because cats... You'd have to that fill it with catnip to make them tear it apart. Yeah. We um, got the cat. What there you go. Got? You can unwrap it on their behalf. Oh, can I Braided it? wires. Yes, Braided that wires. would have been a fantastic choice. So this is <laughs> it. This is a um, stuff on a stick. I oh, know it's called Marion Bright Teaser Cat Toy. 
with catnip. So supposedly there's some catnip in here. Yeah. So let's undo the present for the kitties. The present is my seat, yes. <laughs> um, am I undoing it or doing it up more? <laughs> It's also who, a puzzle for James. Yeah, who twist <laughs> twist ties counterclockwise to do them up? Yeah, Sprite is interested. Twisted minds do that. You can tell he's it's got it's, oh, got, it's got his, his attention. attention. It is colorful. It he is also shiny. likes twist ties. Oh yes. <laughs> so it may be the wand. It may be the twist ties. So oh, let's see how they nice. like this. Let's go to the cat cam and see. Oh, Atari's interested. Oh my goodness. Oh. What's this? What is this? Huh? Oh, oh, does that smell? Yeah? Uh, oh, Atari's like, oh, that cat. Come on, Atari. There you go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. So Atari is the mer the mouser. Yes. And Sprite is the birder. Yeah. So if it's on the ground dragging around, Atari is all about it. But if it's hanging in the air, Sprite loves it. So watch this, see? See, Sprite is like, oh my god, it's in the air. It's a bird. I'm going to kill it. Sprite can jump six feet in the air. He, he, if you he can literally can. That. Yeah, yeah, he can. So, see, it's on the ground. Now Atari's all about yeah. it. So, it does double duty. Yeah. They both love it. You just have to play uh, with it, it in it different, different ways. ways. Yeah. yeah. So, there you go. You guys can play with it for a little bit. And now, instantly not interested. They're like, but that's eh, okay. Yeah. Lefty, loosey, ready, tidy doesn't yeah. <laughs> necessarily apply to twist no. ties. Yeah, you can do them either way. Our cats split their mousing birdie the, birding the same way. So between them, they cover anything that could come in the house. Yes. Yeah. No birds have <clears throat> got in the house. One mouse. Oh, oh. Oh, he's oh, taking he's, it he's away. He's taking it away. It's mine, and I'm <laughs> sitting on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's out of frame. That's okay. Ah, uh, they're funny cats. Um. Okay. So uh, let's get into the games. Yeah. Are you ready? Are we ready? Uh, oh, oh, catnip. Oh. Nostalgic. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready, cats, cats, cats? Okay. You're gonna you're gonna demonstrate out. your jump jump height? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's got it in his in his teeth. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to destroy like all the equipment in this room. Okay. But let's see if we can get him to Will oh, you do over, it? Over over a bit. Will over you do this it? This way. This way. <gasps> Yeah, it did. Over Which this way? way. This, this way. way. This way. This, this way. way. This way. Sorry. There you go. There? No one oh, can see it no. there. No, no, you want it right in front of the camera. Oh, weird. Okay, yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> nice. Another one? Another one? Get it? Yeah, <laughs> there's a cat. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay, catnip so time. Funny. Catnip time. Okay. <laughs> Catnip. They're all, yes. they're not. Cheers, Chelsea Donnie They're Mount. not even interested in the catnip. <laughs> they're too excited about their present. Yeah. Did you put out Atari? Atari. Here. There's there we catnip. go. There's some catnip. Cats, 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 cats. Cats, 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 cats. cats, cats. <laughs> uh, this is a fun channel, but they keep interrupting the cats to talk about homebrew games. <laughs> So true. I know, I know. Yeah, poor Muddy Funster. We should turn it into a 100% cat channel. They do very well on YouTube, yeah. cat channels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we just need to get like 10 more cats, dedicate a full room to the cats with multiple cameras. <laughs> People can choose different cameras based oh on goodness. voting. Oh my goodness. And then they can dispense treats oh as goodness. well. Wouldn't that be perfect? It, uh, so you just basically want to lock them in a room all day and just monetize just it on Twitch. <laughs> monetize cat jail. Yeah, monetize cat jail. And they just people just feed them treats all day. Yeah. Big Brother, but with cats. Yes. Oh, and then you get to vote off the cats. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the least interesting No, cat. no one wants to vote off oh, kitties. That's so mean. That's a mean. <laughs> or people choose different Atari games for the cats to play. Oh, 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 sneezers. Oh, don't breathe it in. Eat it. Oh, my it's goodness. It's not snuff. Bro. It's not Atari's snuff. like, you okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean you. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's going crazy. <laughs> Is it a happy Christmas for cats? Yes. Oh, he's pushing mm -hmm. it into his face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. He had it picked up with his paw, and he was pushing it into his yeah, face. He's oh, crazy. Okay. Okay. Time to play some games. Yes. Okay, the first... Everything's good here. This is the controller. Brendan Ghost, I react that way to cookies too. <laughs> I am a cookie monster. 
Okay, it is time for Muddy Visions secret new game exclusive mm. world premiere. Here we go. Okay, let's load it up. Okay, don't say what it is, but it's that third one down. I haven't put it on the screen yet. Yeah. And... Okay. There it is! It is called Wilf! And it's a, it's a worm, a little worm. Aww. See that little guy? Yeah. He's probably one of the tiniest main characters you could ever play oh. in a video game. <laughs> We've had the slowest main character, and now we now have the tiniest. tiniest. Oh my gosh, character. that's so cute. Yeah, very adorable. <laughs> okay. Faster than Caramel. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Look for the reflection in Tanya's glasses. Yeah, yeah oh, you can see it. Ooh, what's oh, going on? That's right. Read it uh, before it comes on the screen. <laughs> so this build is from today. It's a 128K game from uh, the person who brought, brought you RT, uh, EXO, which were released just two days ago. Yeah, yeah. Also Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum, oh, Bernie and the yeah. Tower of Doom, Danger Zone, Daredevil, Keystone Coppers, Track and Field. Well, not yet. Uh, tire Tracks. And now Wilf, oh, there's, Bernie. There's Bernie. Is there going to be a, a, a Wilf? A little, <gasps> uh, oh, I hope so. <laughs> knitted. Is it knitted? knitted? Wilf? Yeah, uh, crochet, crochet. Crocheted. Yes. He needs a spot. What does it stand for? Uh, I That's think his name crochet. is just Wilf. That's Wilf just, the worm? Wilfred. Short Wilfred for Wilfred, the, maybe. Oh, nice. Yeah. We'll see. We'll Wilfred see. Worm. Okay. First little background on Wilf. Oh, will he stand? I don't, I don't know. He might have to go backwards. I wanted to make a new platform game. Mm. That had a few quirks that was different from Bernie. Bernie and the Tower of Doom is a very much a single screen puzzle platform game. I wanted my new game to be more of a flip screen exploration game. Perhaps not a million miles from EXO, but it's much smaller in scope. And not EXO with worms. <laughs> it is not EXO with worms. Uh, uh, now where does this guy go? There you go. You have it. Um, uh, Wilf has a lot of different inspirations. You know that I like old flip screen games like Starquake. Exile, Dan Dare. Uh, one of my favorites is Terminus on the ZX Spectrum. Terminus is a huge inspiration. I spent hours mapping that as a kid and never did complete it. Uh, more recently, Ooze the Escape. Every project I try uh, to do something new or learn something new. This time I wanted to experiment with using a much smaller main character. Mm -hmm. Wilf is only about 7x7 seven seven when standing and 3x7 when moving. Oh, cutie. He's so cute. Uh, <laughs> this, game, hey uh, this gave me a whole bunch of new challenges. I've never really tried to make a game with a character this small. I still try to convey some actual body language and emotion with the character. So far, Wilf has a little over 70 frames of animation in the game, and there's still more to add. One of the advantages of a small character size is that I could have a lot of different frames for different things that he does. Mm. He has lots and lots of ways to die, for example, and oh. they will all be animated. He can also teeter on the edge of some blocks. It does nothing for the gameplay. It's just to give him a bit of character. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch more Wilf frames to add, many more ways for him to die. Uh, the demo. This is a very early demo build. I wouldn't even say this is an mm. alpha state code yet. It's more of an advanced proof of concept. Mm. I wanted to see if I could get more game idea working, whether it would actually play well. I think it does, and if the response is positive, then I'll crack on. Better be positive. <laughs> <laughs> I usually wouldn't show a demo this early, but I think it's just about ready to show, even if it's just it's, a preview it's demo. It's super cute. <laughs> uh, Nostalgia super says, cute. did you film a worm and rotoscope its movements into the game like Karatika? And Prince of Persia. Uh, or Karatika yeah. and Prince of Persia. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe he has a pet worm. Uh, this bug is so. This build is so early that I've not even got a version with a test group yet. So bugs and glitches will be expected. That's okay. If Tanya doesn't find at least one game-breaking bug, we'll I'll be disappointed. <laughs> so you better step up. Oh my. This demo Pressure. only has about uh, 11 screens implemented. The final game will be aiming towards 80 screens. Mm, okay. I'll be leaning heavily on compressing the screen data, uh, and the target size will be 128K plus RAM, so it should play nicely with Concerto as well as 7800 GD and Dragonfly. Uh, and today we're, we're using the 7800 GD with RGB out. So it's the first time we will be having a 7800 Ooh. with RGB out. Okay. There we go. Nice. 
Uh, the demo is quite easy and is more of a tutorial than anything else. Some screens are a bit empty. That's a consequence of an early demo. Stuff is being built. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's start it up, and I'll keep uh, reading along. Okay. I don't think there's any choice here other than no, start. No, so, it's just yeah. start. So your worm is in a glass jar right now. You have to break them out. Uh, Try the other button. There okay. you go. He's escaped. Uh, Muddy, who did the music? It's it's, it's so fantastic. good. He's so cute. Look at him go. He doesn't jump. No, he, he doesn't just... jump. Miker. Ah, oh, nice. Excellent. Look at him go. Squidge, 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 squidge. <laughs> Is it the music for Bernie? Power unlocked. Nice. Wilf the Worm. I am Simon, Sorcerer Supreme from ASS, Association of Sorceress Snails. <laughs> ASS has decided to bestow unto thee a power to assist in your escape. Behold the power of gravity bending. Nice. Oh, and he disappeared. <laughs> so. Big world for a tiny uh, world. Ah, gravity. So, nice. just to let you know, we have infinite lives, so you should explore dying okay. whenever possible. Oh, oh, oh green oh, death. Turned into blip, 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 bubbly green death. Break out. That's a strong worm. Shook the screen. So if I get... Oh. Now imagine oh, playing this pushed. on a hand. Oh, he died. Oh. Oh, it's Did another worm to death. The ground? Yeah, I, I wanted oh, to see what okay. happened. So there you go. Shake it. There we go. Nice uh, graphics on the broken, uh, broken cage he was in. Looks like a test tube kind of thing. What could that be? The one on it. It's a key! Yay, keys! So now you've got a key on the bottom right there. Nice. A little wormy. Oh, so cute. Uh-oh. That's a big oh. crawly thing there. Oh, it reset. And he tumbles when he falls. Oh, you might have to wait there. Mm-hmm. Carl G says, a big world for a tiny worm. Muddy Funster, it's a Bernie tune that I borrowed as a placeholder. Okay. It's very good. Very good music. No! Ah, hurry. Ah, well, you can try and die on I, I, those I guys. don't like killing him. He's too cute. Oh. That's what happens when you make... We'll have to go through and kill him in various ways then. Um... You get your first skill given to you at the start of the game, which lets you bend gravity. Oh, there's a, a choice now. To go to the left or the right. I'm going to the right. Oh, the fire. I don't want to burn him. And I, also, I don't want to start at the beginning again. <laughs> True. Oh, oh, multiple uh, noxious gases. Uh, more skills are planned as you, as you progress, though. Uh, oh, too oh. close. Too close. As you should be able to learn worm foo. And do the fabled spinning worm kick or worm dukin attack. Nice. These are still being worked on. As are their mechanics, so they can't be spammed. Maybe an attack meter or something. There will be a skill to allow Wilf to tunnel in dirt areas too. Oh. Ooh, so there might be hidden areas where you can um, uh, dig through the dirt. Because he's very tiny. It might be a, just a tiny little opening. Uh, music is borrowed from Bernie in the Tower of Doom and is a placeholder. Uh, I need to make sure that the RMT stuff would work nice in the engine and fit in, etc. Some graphics are placeholders and borrowed from some of my other games. Some are a bit rough and all need to be polished. Some have ended up being too similar to other games, so again, polish and reworks. As I said, it's super early, like a few weeks in the process. The ground fire is a bit experimental using random animation system rather than a fixed cycle. I won't release this demo, but I will release a demo around Christmas time, mm. about a week, with more screens and more ways to unalive Wilf. Poor Wilf. Oh. Watch out for the 
Green gas. Oh. 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 Uh, oh, you do have the key oh, for that. Oh, the key for one. Nice. Oh, oh. Is that a checkpoint there? Possibly. Oh, that would be good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you made it there. Good. Mm. You can fall down to the right, which That's would true. be up. Yeah. See if we can get to that glass. No. Hmm. Thought maybe it would be. Just. Okay. Just decoration for now. Um, the game objective: escape. You have no idea where you are, just that you need to escape. Find two keys. Get to the exit. Controls: left and right. Move wealth left and right. Up and down allow gravity bending. When you unlock the power. Three. So I don't have three. Okay. Uh, once a gravity bend is activated, you can only steer. You cannot stop until you hit something solid. Mm -hmm. Fire has no function in the game yet. It will control other attacks and digging. Uh, glitches. Game seems mostly stable. The doors are a little janky and not as smooth as I'd like them to be. Collisions are okay mostly. Uh, plans. More screens. More powers. Ooh, how'd you get there? I wasn't watching. I just fell. Fell upward. Yeah. Yep. Looks like a dead end, but that could be a place where you can mm. dig maybe later. Maybe. So try and go in there and try to get to I there. I can't. Uh, yeah. Well, you should easily. be able to fall up and then go to the left. There you go. No. Oh, no, you can't. No. Ah. No. Uh, more screens, more powers, bosses. Two bosses are already planned. Kitten. No. And designed. More traps, more enemies, more ways to die. A few puzzles. Badges. These will be like Steam achievements or Xbox PlayStation trophies and will be saved. Uh, UI is a placeholder and will be improved. Have you died from the green gas? Yep. Yes. He goes so you green. You died from oh. the enemies, enemies yet that no. are crawling around. Not yet. Well, Atari seems enthralled with the bows that are on the side. Oh, funny. Are, is he taking it off? Uh, no, he's just rubbing right now. He just likes to rub on it. Um, Nostalgic says the animations are so full of character. Muddy Funster, mm. you have a special tool for designing and animating sprites. Muddy mm. Funster says, I mostly use GIMP or uh, Ace Sprite. Ace Sprite? You need to do a fire death. Oh, okay. Fire Muddy death. Muddy says, there's perfect opportunity. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, ashes turns to ash. Oh, no. Oh, poor little wormies. Yeah, so that wasn't a checkpoint. I thought it might be no. the other one. So, you still haven't done a death with the... He moves pretty quick, he the does. little worm. He's very fast. <laughs> he tumbles in the air. I love the tumbling in the air. I think that's... Is that adorable. to slow him down as he as ascends or descends so that he doesn't hurt his self himself quite as much? He so, just, Muddy, he... is, is Wilf uh, short for Wilfred? Or is that his full given name? Tari 800 XL Rule says, This is a great idea. Love the animation and look. Yeah, it's, it's really great. Mm. Ah! Well... You will have to die eventually there. You're going to go to the left now? Did you explore fully to the right? I went to the left. I can't go any further to the left, so oh. I think there's more to do to the right. Okay. Or maybe this is... I've hit the edges. I don't know. No, he says there's two keys. There are two keys. Okay, so I have to find a second key somewhere. He's just Wilf. Not W-I-L-F. He is Wilf. Oh, that... Chestnut ale, so stinky. It's not stinky. It's oh, so tasty. It's so stinky. It is a wonderful. It smells so chemically. Oh, 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 go to the edge again. Oh, yeah, did you see that before? No, he, I was he, reading. He panics. Uh, he, has, yeah. <laughs> he, has, he has arms. Or he just wraps his, his, his um, tail, back? tail back. Could be. Oh, oh my God, that was close. It was. So where haven't you gone? Down? I have gone down. Okay. So but I don't think there was three. anything here. Not yet. And I can't get through. Um, There's more to see. Keep going right. Keep going this way? Yeah. I, top or bottom. I couldn't... 
I was trying yeah, to figure look. out how to fall through that way. Oh. Uh, right, without oh. touching him. Oh, you can steer yourself can while you're going through the air. Really? So if you go up. No, 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 no. Fall upward. No, no, back. Go, go back, back, back yeah. where you were. Yeah. No, not, not near the beat. There. Now fall upward. And then, while he's down, move to the right. Oh, you're absolutely right. right. Yep, yep, I missed that. Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Ooh, that looks... Oh, I thought that would be like bad. <laughs> Falling into that thing. Run! Or squirm! <laughs> squirm as fast as you can! Oh, he's so cute. He is adorable. They will be bad soon. <laughs> uh, it does look like they do something. Like squish or... Oh, oh no! You notice he can move a little bit? Yes. While he's on fire? Yeah, which that's is, so funny. Which is not good to think about too much. Poor guy. Yeah. Poor guy. This is so adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys don't get to chew on this. No, no, no. Can you fit in here? Yep, it can fit there. There we go. Perfect. Where there's a wolf, there's a way. Oh, you gotta include that into the manual. That's so perfect of a terrible <laughs> pun. Want to play with your present, kittens? Oh, it's full of cat spit. Already? Yep. Oh, they love it. It's a good sign. Well, it's full. They like their catnap. I remember when we got um, Sprite, and he just was not interested in catnap. And we we're like, oh, maybe this this cat does not care about catnap. No, then we does. read that uh, they have to be a usually a certain, a certain age. age before they um, enjoy catnap. Yeah. Oh, well, both at it. Kids, so both trying to grab it. Uh, on the worm fruit, worm foo, I have a prototype worm dukin working with Atari Vox speech. Oh, nice! Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I don't have the Atari Vox plugged in right now. Are we missing anything without the Atari Vox plugged in? Oh, the cats are. I don't think this is a very good thing for the cats. Things are coming off of it. Already? Sprite just ate something off of it. Oh no. That's never good. Yep. I think uh, Jackson Galaxy said not to get anything except for the um, the rainbow rainbow snake. Oh really? Because they can eat these things. Oh no. It's not good for them. Well you just have to monitor them. Don't yeah. don't let them play don't. with them un unattended. <laughs> Unsupervised. Unsupervised cats. Make it? That's quite a long. It's a long trek. Mm -hmm. You have to follow him back at the top. And then just fall upward. Do you think that's upward. top? Just fall upward. I, well, do you think that's hot? I don't know. Uh, the red? Uh, mm. No, I don't know. I think you've crawled along red before. Oh. I love this. This game is great. He, he, he squirms pretty fast. Yeah, he moves very quickly. Come on, kitties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is quite a, quite a jump. Oh, nothing Atari Vox in this build. Okay, good. Oh, there's key number two. Ooh, lots of dangers here. This is a bit of a maze. With all the pipes and flames, is this the Will Factory? Will Factory. Oh, yay! So I have two, and I guess I just backtrack. Backtrack to, did you see the two door? Ooh. I saw that we saw the three door. This is dangerous. Okay, I get it. Ooh. I get it. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, you do have to go up top. Follow the bee or the flying thing as it goes 
back. Can you get me here? Uh, oh, I can oh, squish, can squish down. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, stuff. nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Squish. Or, or squish. you can go down when he's at that side. Yeah. yeah. That's even safer. Do you intend to keep it untimed like EXO? I'm hoping so personally. And Muddy says yes, absolutely. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? <gasps> Is there a part, <laughs> a part in the game where he gets supersized? Oh, that would be cute. Like he, he ingests too much water or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or he um, gets a power up to fight like a, a boss or something. And he gets a supersized wolf. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Don't chew on the plastic, bad cat. Play with the other stuff. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, well, oh, it just brings me back fried. to the beginning. I don't lose my keys, which is a good thing. No, that is good. Yeah. Yeah can't remember where the... Um... Sandworm mode. Well, he did say that he goes through the dirt. <gasps> True. Two is at the top, right? Yeah. Sometimes uh, dying is easier. <laughs> it's true. Oh my gosh, he's what so it? cute! What's it from Pet Cemetery? Sometimes death is better. <laughs> That's from the movie. I don't remember. I, I saw the movie a few times back in the day. Because they bring people back now. to life in it, right? And then, yes. And then the old guy says, says sometimes death is better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which is better than everything. zombie rotting. Well, zombie babies. Zombie babies! Oh, did I just give that away? Zombie cats! Oh, spoilers for a 40-year-old movie. <laughs> 40? Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the 80s, right? Early, mid-80s? 90s. I think it was in the 90s. Early 90s, no. isn't it? No. Pet Cemetery? It, I think it was re, early 90s. They redid it. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the redid one. Let me look it up. Yay! Demo oh. over! Woo! 89. 89. Sorry. Okay, so, so it was close. 80s? It was close. Demo over! Thanks yeah. for trying this very early demo of The Adventures That's of so Wilf. There are lots of features planned. More than 70 screens to explore. More than 70 screens explore. New powers like worm foo and tunnel. Mm. Many, many more ways to die. Don't chew on the plastic. Uh, lots of additional enemy types. Badges for all your discoveries. Oh, and bosses. 128k cart, binary, concerto, dragonfly, 7800 GD compatible, SNES to Atari, Mega 7800, save key, Atari Vox coming summer 2024. Nice. Very <laughs> awesome. Bug found, grammar and end screen. <laughs> found a bug. <laughs> no, you didn't find any bugs, did you? Mm -hmm. I uh, tried my best. I tried my best. So with the uh, uh, worm foo, you're going to need all six buttons on the uh, Mega 7800 controller. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got nice. added late on this evening. No, it's okay. awesome. That's great. Yeah. Great it stuff. Looks good. It is so super it is cute. It's so cute. Um, you're gonna oh have to mass produce little worms. <laughs> yeah. Either uh, knitted ones or uh, little plastic ones <laughs> that you can include. <laughs> yes. Like this. Oh. Like the froggy? Oh. Or, oh, the mice, oh, like too. Like the mouse yeah. or the frog we that toys. we got in various uh, Games homebrews. that we've had over the years, yeah. Yeah, these, I think, for, are from Hack hack Games. Hack, uh, yes. But, um... And, and the, yeah, the burning. A little worm would be very, very cool. Uh, rain, rain should, should be, be dead, deadly. Yeah. As well as ponds. Oh, my Those goodness. jelly worms that stick to the wall. There oh, we go. Oh, my goodness. You'd Those were You'd have to wrap awesome. them inside something else, though, so they're not <laughs> sticking to the cart. Oh, the, true. Yeah. <laughs> it's not uh, caustic, right? <laughs> do not eat. Yes. Do, yeah. <laughs> I think they are caustic. Yeah, there's so much more fun stuff I'm planning. Oh, yeah. wonderful. It plays incredibly well. Yep. It's He's gorgeous. incredibly cute. Yes. Great, great character with lots of possibilities mm -hmm. so i think that's uh, a really good choice for a character that he's yeah. so small because good it can job. become big maybe long oh you yeah. like a snake that I he like has his... a long tail or I something i didn't realize he squished down until he squished down squish. i'm like oh, i just want to go squish squish squish, <laughs> squish squish that worm excellent it's really really good squish that worm anybody know that that meme online squish that cat yeah um that guy's from squish vancouver the cat. yeah did we ever go to that vet? Is that the vet we uh, went to? It was a, for a little a, not bit? to that specific vet, um, vet, but to the office. That office. Yeah, years okay. ago. He can't have this. Yeah. He's chewing. He 
is chewing plastic. Okay. <laughs> he looks offended that you took that away. Oh, that was my offended. present. I get yep. to eat it. Great demo, Muddy. It was so good. <laughs> Thank you for letting us show off your awesome work. Mm -hmm. uh, very looking forward to playing uh, the demo when it's released um, in a week or so, you said? Um, oh, yeah, I have an actual cart, um, cart graphics, <laughs> which I should have changed right away. There we go, Wilf, yay. Now we're gonna change it again, <laughs> now that I've changed it. Okay, the next game we're gonna be playing is Last Stand Halloween. Uh, we did play this over two years ago, oh, really? last time, okay. for Halloween, okay. for okay. a Halloween show. But this has been updated and extended with a lot more in it. Mm -hmm. um, so now let's go back to that and I can change the cartridge. So if you can uh, navigate. Is this it is... left? Yep, and... left takes you to the top and then press the button. Oh, okay, gotcha. And last stand Halloween, uh, first one. Is... First one. Uh oh. What just happened? Cat, did you unplug? Let me just, one sec. <laughs> Try it now. Okay. It was yep. the cat. <laughs> no, it's not the cat. No? It is no. definitely now. I've been trying different configurations of the joysticks. Okay. And I've marked one of the joysticks problem joystick. Okay. But it is not a problem joystick. I think it's something in the 7800. Oh. Or the port of the 7800, because I have to unplug it, plug it back in, and then it works. Oh, weird. So something is going on. I might mm -hmm. have to uh, reach out after uh, after the holidays and start working on that. Muddy Funster, thanks for joining at such an oh early God. hour. <laughs> we really appreciate yes, it. Thank have you a good so night much. and have a happy holidays. And great work. Yeah. Um, yes. Have a happy holidays. Yeah. And we'll see you in a bit. Yes. Sometime soon. Okay. Last and Halloween. Um, this was updated November 12th It's uh, by Steve Fulton, Fulton Bot. It's 128K game. Uh, and he says, still lots of bugs to stomp and needs massive game balancing. Now there are 25 levels it's of different enemies. Yum, yum, oh, yum, not yum, yet. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> it is treat time for kitties. It's time to bet on the cats. Oh, thank you, Gamut Dev. Bet on the cats. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, that oh, they see they the treat box. Treat time. Oh, this is their favorite time of the day. They love the Hands treat time. Hands down, maybe even more than meals. I'm not sure. They, they get really excited for this. Yes, they do. Um, so it's been going back and forth between Atari and Sprite. I know. Like to extremes. Close the door, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he escaped. He the door. No, no, close it. Come here. Get there you go. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Vitoko. <laughs> to Vitoko, them. Vitoko knows the drill. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Atari won by three points. Yes. And last time, Sprite won by three points. So yes. it's all over the board. <laughs> it can be anything. So you have about a minute and a half to click on predict. Oh, wow. Place your bets. Pick your cats. And we've got... Uh, Do you want to switch it to the cat uh, oh, cat screen so they yeah. can see? Somebody is betting on everything. Wow. That's good. Excellent. We'd like to see a balance because the last few have been a bit of a surprise. They've been extremes. A big surprise. Big yeah. extremes on both ends. And normally it sits in the middle, which is kind of crazy. So we'll see what happens. Whoa. Atari oh, 3 Plus. People are really betting on That's, Atari. That is a brave bet. Yeah. That's a brave bet. But... <laughs> You, you never, never know. know. Yep. You never know. You just never know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's options of Sprite 3 Plus, Sprite 1 and 2, Atari 1 and 2, and mm -hmm. Atari 3 Plus. There are no ties. And if there are ties, we go to 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't distinguish it, we just go add another round. That's never happened, mm -hmm. so it's unlikely. So we have about 30 seconds left. <laughs> You're screwing up the whole point of betting Atari 3 Plus. <laughs> when you bet big on Atari 3 Plus, yep. you don't have that outlier special one person bet yeah. on it. But hey, everybody I, can bet what I they would, want. I would lean on the Sprite 1 to 2 is pretty low right now. So. It is. Yeah. yeah that oh, one. now it's jumped back up. There yeah. we go. 
Last bet. Oh, it's really last jumping around. Seconds. Look at that. People put in their bets at the last second. Well, it takes got... a second to figure out what's going on, too. <laughs> yeah. So there has to be, you have to evaluate who's betting on what. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Predictions it's are off. It's almost Christmas. Just going for yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay, cats. Are you ready? You ready? Okay. Go. Oh, oh was that Atari? I couldn't even see it. Sprite was banging on it, but didn't make a noise. And oh, Sprite's Sprite. got in his first point there. Atari's and chewing up, off. and Atari's back to the bell. And oh, he's done it! Atari. He's 2-1. He's ahead in the race. Sprite's having a little trouble with his paw. He's, he's, banging. <laughs> there you go. he's banging really lightly. <laughs> He'll hit it like Atari's. 20 times a second, though. Atari's a strong ringer, and he's back to the oh, bell. Oh, oh Sprite's Sprite again. Catching up. Yeah, yeah. It is three all, but Sprite has caught up, but he's he's a little distracted. Oh. Who will be the winning Christmas cat? Who's the Christmas cat? Oh, oh. Atari. Oh, Tied neck up. and neck. Atari's a little slower now. Uh, Sprite has caught up, but uh, Atari's He just eating. tapped the floor. Atari's, there oh, you go. There we go. <laughs> Atari's eating pretty fast today. Oh, he's Atari. Five, five. Oh, my gosh. He's ringing very strong it's as neck and usual. neck. Who's going to win? Oh. Who's going to win? Oh. Ring the bell, guys. Don't encourage Sprite. He doesn't need any. Oh, uh, he's having trouble. Oh, oh it's sorry. He gets it. <laughs> Sprite was doing a light touch. Oh, he still can't get it. Smack it hard. It... Oh, he's still oh, having it. Oh, buddy. can Atari get ahead? Oh, oh, oh one ring. each. One each. Atari is ahead. Oh, my strongly gosh. Strongly by one point. Oh, my gosh. It's a strong lead now by Atari. <laughs> Uh, he's he's eating the bells, eating the treats very quickly, and ring. Oh, oh it's Harry! I had by two now. <laughs> oh my Atari goodness! Is Sprite is blazing through it. What are you doing, buddy? He's had too much catnip. Yeah, too much catnip. Yeah. People have theorized that catnip and it gives Atari an advantage. Oh, he's that was Atari. Still I heard that. Two, and it is now game point for Atari. <gasps> oh my goodness! Can you believe it? Oh, oh here comes Sprite. Sprite is coming up behind. Atari just needs one more ring. He's Who's going next? for it. He's reaching Who's for it. Who's next? Oh, he's thinking about it. And he's oh, got it! Oh, Atari, Atari by two! Atari by two! Good kitties. There's some extras for you. Good kitties. Oh. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody won. Okay. That let's... was tight. That was tight. That was tight. Yeah, wow. wow. back and forth. So, it is Atari by one to two, and that was a low... Low percentage. percentage of the points. Wow. People are going to get a big payoff. It's almost like Atari. Ooh, Carl gets it. Let's see. Who, who wins? Atari 1 to 2. Carl G splits it with th three, three others. other people. Very 16, nice. 16,000 points. Nice. Did well. Big That's payoff. good. 16K. 16K. <laughs> Atari <laughs> by two whiskers. That's right, Dan. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, this RGB uh, output on the 7800 GD is clean. It's, it's looking so good. It's so crisp. It's looking good. Really nice colors. Okay, um, so he said, uh, yeah, 25 levels of different enemies, eight levels of power-ups. Mm -hmm. I made all of the holiday graphics I could think of. <laughs> and then, well, I just made more stuff to shoot at. Starts at Halloween, then goes to Christmas, oh, there we go. then New Year's, then Valentine's Day, etc. Uh, he says a bit of slowdown in the higher levels, but the code is messy and unoptimized. Oops. Well, there's the instructions. Yeah. Um, so there is more room to improve, hopefully. Uh, instructions. So you spent all of those years camping in the middle of the screen in asteroids and thought you got away with it, right? Well, here is your nightmare. Button one fires, right and left turns. Reset or fire to start. Fire, right, left. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Oh. oh, you can't move till it starts. Up. So shoot those pumpkins. Oh, damaged. Ah. And there's power ups if you shoot the bat. Oh, it is. It can oh. fire. Oh no! Okay. Sector secure. Oof. So it has level one, wave zero. So he says 25 levels. Level two, wave 24? Oh, wave is how many left you have to get. Okay. And you have power one, so there are power ups. Halloween in December? Yeah. 
Well, we'll get into the... I, I don't know what all the graphics are, so we've got skulls. Nice. We got pumpkins, skulls. Pumpkins, skulls. Both Halloween stuff. And then we have... Ghosties. Ghosts. Well, those are pretty good ghosts. Nice little uh, shadow under the chin and the eyes. They they break apart into ectoplasm. Yeah. See? I only have shoot it a couple times. Or maybe it's just multiple on top. Maybe it just redirects, no? So remember to get the bat for um, bonus things. Now you have a powered, a higher powered shot. But I think it's faster. It's a faster shot. Faster would be better, yes. Is shooting the bat the author's revenge against the bat from adventure? Could be. Oh, now we've got... Candy? Candy canes! Oh, We've moved into nice. Christmas themes. Oh, now I want candy canes. Oh, I want candy cane like Oreos. Do you like candy canes? Uh, I do. Uh, my I favorite like kind canes. is the cherry ones. I have a real fondness oh, for the cherry candy okay. canes, which was, you don't get all the time. I was thinking traditional candy canes. I do just... like, I do like, oh, the bat ran into me. I didn't yep. think that was the thing. Oh, not the bat. It was a candy cane. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. I thought it was bat. Um, Christmas bat. The Christmas bat. <laughs> it's the Christmas bat <laughs> that's coming to steal your presents and your magnets and your dragons and your <laughs> and your swords. What is this? Snowballs? Uh, yeah, snowballs. Uh, I was thinking this would work well with a driving controller, but he may not opt for that because you need slowness, like to turn around, and that mm. might be part of the mechanics. It is slow. It's not super fast. And with a driving control, you could spin a lot faster. And that might make it oh my presents or Lego. <laughs> it does look kind of Lego like, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the bat spirals in too. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, so you do have to shoot the bat. <gasps> ah, it's I'm gonna get it. I know, oh, I know. Too, too much, too much. Oh, did you get the power up? Yes. I think so. Good. Oh, it's faster. Oh god, these things are so fast now. Oh my goodness, oh, I lost. Okay, your turn. Lost. <laughs> So you, have to, you made it to the presents level. Huh? Chocolate mint. Mm, oh, okay. yeah. The Christmas, the Oreo, what are they? Candy oh, cane candy Oreos? Candy cane Oreos. Oh, my God. They're so good. Uh, they're, they're like, uh, I was like 365 brand, like the Whole Foods brand. I just saw them there, and I'm like, oh, I have to buy those. They're delicious. They're too delicious. They're so like, good. Like, we made it through the first box. And, and then I saw them on sale. And, and then Tanya more. bought more. I'm like, oh, why did you buy them? <laughs> They're too good. <laughs> they are too They're good. like, I can eat them all. Yeah, it's like the candy cane crunch um, ice cream that you used to get at uh, some of the grocery stores. Candy cane. Did crunch. you ever? It was like chocolate, chocolate and vanilla ice cream and candy cane bits. Have you ever had no, that? I can't no. remember the name I've of it. I've never heard oh, of it. They're so good. Those Oreos are evil. They oh, are so, so evil. Oh, good. Oh yeah. And they're sitting upstairs. They are so sitting we, upstairs. That's what we had um, during the Atari age day. I think it's the only thing we ate. <laughs> two Oreos each. Two Oreos each, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get that back. You got us through. No, no, put it. No, 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 no. Oh, my. There you go. Just just cleared just in it. Time. Uh, is that a regional thing? I've never seen them here in my part of the world. I, I just found them it. at the Canadian Whole Foods. I bet so, there are other places. The, I mean, well, they're Oreos, so... You would think Oreo would make them. But it was it was the chocolate cookie, and it was the inside that was like the regular white center with crushed up candy canes in it. Very, very good. No. Maybe some peppermint flavoring, too. I'm not sure, but they were very, very good. Well, they are good. We still have them. <laughs> no, my oh, power Oh, no. Up. Maybe it'll stay. Walmart! Oh, oh okay. Miss Command. Okay. Well, there you go. There's an option. Yeah, it depends on... Uh... Our brands can be somewhat different, but we get a lot of the same things, too, so... I, I noticed it has um, a sticker over top of it, so that means it was repackaged from the U.S. Oh, you're right. It, it, so it, they definitely must have it in the U.S., then. Because we have to have French on everything. French on everything in Canada. Well, RC70, this is our second box. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, it is our second box. Yeah. It's too good. Oh, yeah. cat fights. Oh, kitties. Oh. They don't usually fight on camera. No, they don't. <laughs> They're really fighting it up. Oh, kittens. They just play fight. Uh, they do. They're not hissing. Uh, Sprite is, is obviously upset that he's lost the last couple of rounds at the treat game. Yeah, it's like, how dare you? Oh, kitties, stop it. 
And they're off. <laughs> they're just playing. There we go. Power up. Much faster. Oh, I do need a health power up. Oh. Mint and lemon. Well, lemons are good. Yeah. Mint. Holiday ones are normal Oreos, but with holiday patterns on the cookie itself. Yeah. Nostalgic 26. French on everything? Does Al know to include French versions of box and manual oh. copy in the games he ships to oh, Canada? Oh, no. He could get in trouble. He's, what about Europe, where you have to put like 10 languages on it? Or put Italian, German, No, I don't. They, they're not French. official languages, though, are they? It depends on the... I don't know. A lot of stuff in, in the EU has like that huge list of That's everything. That's true. I guess if if you're if you're selling between countries, I don't know how that works. But Al doesn't. Al just ships to Canada. He doesn't sell in Canada. No, that, that does make a, difference. make a difference. It does make a difference. And so, it's not food either. It's not food. No, no. I mean, like um, ingredients in the Atari Age games. Because like video games, for example, you can buy there's English French and French versions, but I don't think there's French on the English video games. Oh, you mean in the game? No, even on the back. They don't put French names on the back, do they? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's do they put French, French names on movies? Yeah. No. Do they? Yeah, there's French on movies. There's I guess French they, on video games. You know, I guess they do come with... Um, <laughs> to Valentine's Day. Oh, so pretty. And the bat. <laughs> and the bat. The bat. Um, I'm trying to remember now. I guess they do have subtitles for things, even video games. Well, I, I wasn't talking about subtitles, but like packaging. Yeah, oh, but God. the packaging, if they don't have it in French... Like, do they have to, do you, if you sell a movie, I mean, not that people buy DVDs anymore anyway, <laughs> but if much. you were to sell a movie, I guess you need the French, it's subtitled yeah. in French to sell it. So. Well, yeah. I don't think you need it subtitled, but you need the packaging. Yeah. They usually do include <laughs> French subtitles. Carl G says, I'll need help with the French translation of Penalt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's God. a lot of words in that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, do you uh... have room? <laughs> <laughs> to put all the French language yeah. in the game. That's a good. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I mean, I haven't. I haven't looked that closely at. And you don't get packaged things like that so much anymore. No, just food. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna come at all angles now. Yeah, Nintendo usually has English, Spanish, French on on most every box. Oh, question mark. Yeah, I, I. That's a good question. Oh, Easter. The Easter eggs. Oh, there is. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're really fast. What are you shooting? Are you shooting oh, I asteroids? That. I need that. Oh, no. Oh, neglected. No, no. Oh, we almost got oh, you. Oh, it's come back. Uh, I need to get that. It's just looping oh, around. Good. There you go. Did that help you much? Not much. Not much. A little bit. Oh, my goodness. I think I got more hurt. Oof. <laughs> mm. Damn it. Have they put French and English on movie packaging. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. Or a sleeve. Sometimes they'll put it like a, a little s extra sleeve yeah, on it. Yeah, they do sometimes put it like a, a sleeve in, with the After French the on it. Yeah. Oh, god. Getting destroyed. The, 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 not that we buy many DVDs, but we oh, do a bit. sometimes. Oh, oh! Buy DVDs and uh, Blu rays. Yep. Um, we really like the metal box ones, which are really cool. Yes. And I think those usually have cardboard on them. Like cardboard sleeve with like the all outside. the yeah, and then then that gets lost pretty quickly. Oh Suns. So is this summer? This is Summertime. the summer uh, season. Yep. Summer solstice. Oh, oh they got gotcha. you. You want uh, another round? Mm, Do another. Sure. Round. You're, you're getting further, so I want to see you get past that. Yeah. Mapping all the Atari box audio to faux French oh, would be God. terrifying. That's hilarious. Yeah. Trying to figure out the all the different sounds of French. Yeah. Just put a lot of French swears in there. <laughs> no one will know what it is except Mon the Dieu. French people. Yeah, no laugh. Sacre bleu. Tabernacle. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's uh, French swear words. They're all church words. SD Maldi. SD Maldi? SD? SD? They're all, they're all, yeah. <laughs> Tabarnak. Tabarnak. <laughs> Sounds better with a, a French Fr Canadian accent. Oh, yeah, accent. no. We, we can't. Uh, we can't. Tabarnak. <laughs> <sighs> Trying to clear your throat. Mm. <laughs> Le arg. Le arg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
it is nice having faster shots. It's better to get your upgrades early. Oh, yeah. This reminds me a lot of Ghostbusters, the, um, the, the, the main the screen in Ghostbusters, where they're just wandering around, oh. unanimated ghosts just wandering around the map. Ah! ah you're dying you're early. What are you doing? I'm trying to get power-ups from the <laughs> bats. That's, and that's d distracting you. Yeah. It is. Oh, Hugh says, I got my Aladdin Twin Super 78 last week. It's Ooh, good. Ooh, it is a nice one. We have one of those as well. Yeah, they are nice. So good for twin stick games. Carl G says, how proficient are each of you in French? Just curious. Uh, next to zero for me. Uh, I went through French immersion all through high school. And you can do I conversation. I don't French. know if that <laughs> makes me very competent now because I live in a part of Canada that really there's no French spoken here. So I have, I'm have i very out of practice. It's probably more Japanese spoken here than there is French. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've yeah, heard Mandarin more Japanese. and Cantonese probably, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. no. You're getting oh. pummeled. Pummeled by the snowballs. because I have no shot upgrades. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's going to kill you. <laughs> I need that bat. Je peux parler français, pas... Je suis papier. Papier? Uh, Talking about butterflies? No. <laughs> Papillon. Papillon. That's the, the best you're going to get out of me right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not that great. Oh, lost so I'll do soon. one more. I'll okay. stop concentrating on the bat. French immersion in Manitoba? No. French immersion in Ontario. That's where I grew up, so. Come back here. Oh, got it once. Ah, come on, bat. Damn it. You know, it's, um, you want this balance of difficulty in a game where you're trying to get power-ups, but you can't neglect the actual game. Mm. That's what's on me. Oh, oh, that'd be nice. Ooh, There's nice. Oh, it really, Fully really healed Fully restored. Very nice. But I wasn't too damaged, so I think it just restores it, like, a little bit. Um... So, gifts oh. around this time. Mm -hmm. What is everybody's opinion on gifts? Gifts? In opinion on gifts? Is there something... Well, is there a hot take on gifts? I don't understand. For me. <laughs> I'd rather not get I'm a short. gift. Yeah, why is it so short? It's short but fast. Oh, oh. No, it's fixed itself. Oh, That's weird. It's a glitch. Um, I'd rather get no <laughs> gift than a terrible gift that I kind of have to throw away. And the pink screen of death. Yay! The pink Woo, pink and that screen. marks it. The game over. Okay, <laughs> it's pronounced gift. <laughs> a gift. That's right, as in giraffe. Mm. And while we discuss gifts, we're going to put on a little demo. Um, that is from I think 2012 for the nice. um, Atari 7800. There we go. Oh, very nice. 7800 demo. Yep. Nice. Christmas demo by Groovy B. Nice. We also made Wasp and Worm with an exclamation mark. <laughs> um, so, some, like, my sister said at the, the party we went to, mm. or whatever, dinner, um, that they sometimes do drawing names from a hat yes. for everyone so you don't have to spend ten dollars for 20 people you can spend two hundred dollars for one, one person. person not a terrible thing which to is do. a pretty good idea yep 7800 gd mm. yep par good parallax scrolling on this tons of it actually and and i said oh i want to we want to get in on that <laughs> because it's also much easier mm. so the person gets a better gift it's easier on the person giving because you only have to concentrate on one person. And, and and you can kind of, you know, tease out of them what they want as well and get them something nicer, right? And, you yeah. know, when you give true. lists for gifts, which a lot of people do, yeah. they say, oh, here's some ideas. You can't give that list to everyone. You, no, have, you have to have give, to give mini lists I know. I to know. a bunch of people and base your lists on what you think that person could buy you and then oh it's just a mess and so i think that one 
if you are going to get give gifts, yeah, giving, doing the name out of the hat is a nice way to Secret do it. Secret Santa. Secret called, Santa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a good way of doing it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Amen on Secret Santa. B.R. Pocock says Mystery Maccabee. Oh, never heard that name. Uh, we put suggestions on the papers with the name in the hat. Aha! Yes. That's smart, too. That is smart. And then you draw the name out of the hat. Yeah. And it's somebody in the group that's participating. Yeah, I've always liked that, too. And then you can give their, your whole list to them. <laughs> and I yeah. guess you could attach the list to the name. Well, they, right? that's what B.R. Pocock's saying, is that yep. they put their suggestions, suggestions on the paper, paper in, yep. in, in the list. So. Amigo Secreto. Oh, oh that's nice. so cute. I like that. That's a great name yeah. for it. The Hanukkah version. Oh, Mystery Maccabee is the Hanukkah version. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. nice, nice. I like that. Isn't with Hanukkah you have it's like multiple small gifts, or is there a big gift at the end? I don't know if Hanukkah is traditionally involves gifts or people give no, gifts no, no, to no, no, kids no. mainly. It's to kids. To yeah. Kids. But yeah. like for the kids, is there a big gift at the end? I know there's little gifts on every day. I, I think. Know. I don't know. I, don't I haven't know. had. I don't know what aspects of that are are, are eight more crazy secular nights. versus um, yeah oh, eight crazy nights. Yeah, it might be like a a change of tradition, modernism of the yeah. Of I don't know the candles, lighting yeah. the candle. I know there's candles involved. <laughs> that's, that's your your um, <laughs> and you light the candles each night of of, of uh, Jewish uh, religion and culture. It's based right? <laughs> on like some oil, oil lamp that, that kept, lasted that several kept days. Burning yeah, eight, eight nights. Yeah. yeah. My boys get the biggest gift the first day from their mom. I don't know how typical that is, though. Yeah. I. Oh, I, yeah. There's I, uh, different opening of gifts as well in the, you know, Christmas re realm. Yeah. Candles, some... donuts, chocolate coins. Because I think there are traditional gifts that are given. Oh. That's what I mean. Like, okay. I, it's not. I don't think it's in the same sense of, like, here's a day. Random everyone gifts. gets a gift every day. I it's think it, it, there's more. Well, yeah. I, I like donuts. Yep. Candles? Yeah, I could do without candles. <laughs> Chocolate coins, good. Donuts, double good. And you gotta play that dreidel, right? Get some get some uh dreidling mm -hmm. in. So yeah. 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 Menorah. That's what it is. Yeah. And somebody has to make menorah madness. So we can oh. play that. <laughs> nope. yeah. Nobody's made menorah madness. Menorah madness? madness? Yeah. That was a suggestion years ago from Oh uh, plus gifts. Erlen. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, Hanukkah <laughs> Harry. John Love is Oh finest. yeah. <laughs> so uh, really cool, uh, cute demo. Satellite dish, water tower. Yeah, nice scrolling parallax background someone was pointing yep. out. That's some uh, crazy weather they're having there with the <laughs> clouds zooming by at the top. Okay. Yeah. Very high, high level clouds. Yep. Okay. It plays a bunch of songs. Okay, so let's craziness. get on with the show. We're going to switch over to the 2600 now for the last two games. Yes, Carl G, I think we played your dreidel game. We did. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if we... It was we, a couple years ago, yeah. Um, we did it justice because we didn't quite understand the rules, <laughs> but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. It was really yeah. fun. I think that's really neat. I can't neat. remember what it was about. Yeah, it was a couple it years ago. It was a dreidel back. game. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the next game we're going to be playing is on the 2600. It is Bell Hopper, which uses paddles. Mm -hmm. Sorry, kitties. Paddles. Paddles. Oh, interesting. Uh, where are my paddles? Are these paddles? Yes. Where's Conan O'Brien? I don't know. He's doing his podcast. <laughs> Which you do watch. Yeah, yeah. You watch a clips of. Have you ever I actually... I listen to it. Oh, you do listen yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, okay. I do. When it's someone I'm interested in. Right. Okay, so if you could go and load up. Mm -hmm. the first Today's date. Game. Bellhopper. Yes. Excellent. Please. Done and done. I'll put this in. My boys didn't want to play it. Oh, oh Carl. No. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have a physical dreidel, too. <laughs> oh, I do remember this one. Yeah, it's super Beautiful. Cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey! Let's untwist that these. Cat. He doesn't go after cables. He goes after... Um, oh, the, the, the uh, Velcro. Velcro ties. Loves Velcro. Okay, I can't remember yeah. which one that is. Okay. You found it. 
Okay, so uh, this is Bell Hopper by Thomas Hardin and T. T. Open. Um, the ah. game is a demake port of a flash game, Winter Bells. Ah. Um, so yeah. last time we played it, I think it was 2018 or 2019, and our high score is 144 ah. million points. You fail. This is the 2600 game with the highest oh scores, uh, I think, ever. Because it just uh, exponentially gets higher and higher. Ah, oh, I'm oh, so oh, you bad get at it. this you game. Get it. Yeah, you recovered. Yeah, Very so. hard to recover in this game, but you can do it. No! Oh. Right down to the earth again. Carl G says, I remember this one. Yeah, it's a really neat looking game. I don't think the paddle's jittery. Is there a sound? Cause oh, is there bell sorry. sounds? Because I'm assuming sorry. there's a ding ding every yeah. time. Like ah, there's there's almost a little lag. You can see my controller at the bottom, the little white dot. Yes. So you can see that the bunny is there's a lag on the bunny. It is so cute. And Bunny's so cute. There's no button. There's just the paddle. Just left and right. No. Oh, oh, you can recover. No. Oh, you can recover. <laughs> no. We're up to 13,000 already. stressful i don't know why it's so, <laughs> it's so stressful. stressful it's like the most beautiful game you've ever played and yet somehow the chance of just falling to this poor bunny falling to earth just seems so so sad <laughs> oh he lands fine though don't have to get the birds i don't have to but up to a million points almost don't stress me out Million points! Thank God. I think you do have to get the birds for the big points. I think you're right. I think I remember that from playing it. Oh, oh, barely recovered. Yes, it doubles. That's what it is. It doubles your score. Yeah, birds are essential. No! Oh, oh, oh maybe! You did it! Oh my God. Stress. Hugh Jess says no! stress. No! Oh, no! Oh! No! Oh! No! Oh! 800. No! Uh, 8 million. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. New Ooh. high score. He's a magical bunny, so thank you, Carl G. <laughs> he reaches terminal velocity very fast. Oh my fast. goodness. Oh. Yeah. So the score I'm going to be trying to beat is 144 million yeah. points. <laughs> Lots of comments. This game would steal my life, says Andrew Ghost. Uh, RC70, it's triggering my fear of heights. <laughs> oh, God. The bunny's okay. Yeah, it is It is very easy to end your oh game. Oh, God. And, and, and it's funny because you will fail a few times and then just get on a nice streak. Yeah. Like, that's probably the highest score I've ever done playing this. And I probably won't get it again because my wrist always already feels clenched. <laughs> um. That was a good run. And I saved myself multiple times. Yeah. More than a six digit score. I know it's like playing pinball. This it's is like probably right up the there with score. Highest scoring game on the 2600 I've ever seen. I think it gets into the billions. Wow. Yeah, I didn't get in the bill billions, did I? I was, what, eight million something? Eight million. Yeah. But no! Yeah. No! no down to <laughs> Poor Bun Buns. Oh, Bun Buns is okay. Oh, you fail. Eight two four eight million. Hey, I'm not gonna complain about that. No. Um, it is about getting the the birds because yeah. the birds double your score. So every time you hit a bird, like, don't aim for them if they're not in your way. Yeah, because you will. But if you if Damn they're it. if they're there, it's boing, for sure worth boing, hitting them. Boing. I 
I can see how the score gets really high. If you're getting Damn those it. birds consistently, Ew, your yeah. score is going to get super, super high really quickly. Yeah. But yeah, it does it does score like a pinball game. <laughs> Hi, kitty. How are you doing, buddy? Simple, simple game, but very cute. Oh, no! No, no, don't panic! <laughs> don't panic! See, you uh, almost have to remember where the last bell was that went off the screen. I think that's the key to this game. Stop it. How far back? It seems to remember quite a bit. Um, yeah, but it, at a certain point when you fall, there's no bells there's beneath. Left, and yeah. it's like, oh, okay, so it, it remembers Couple to screens? a point. Couple screens. Yeah. And you're steering your bunny. You're not uh, giving the absolute location, even though it is a paddle game. Yeah. You're kind of like, put the bunny there. Yeah. And you do get used to it. Yeah, you do. Um, and it's kind of like, I think uh, John used that same... Oh, oh no! Oh, I tried! <laughs> same way of steering in Turbo Arcade. Mm -hmm. It's not an... He used the paddle, but it's not absolute positioning on the screen. It's steer to the left, steer to the right, until you get to this point. You are correct, Vitoko. You actually want to leave a few bells behind. Yeah, because, every second bell is because the perfect. Because leaving, leaving a few bells behind, I mean, it's, it's the only way you're going to catch yourself and get back <laughs> up there, right? Yes. Yeah. But it's hard to consistently do that. Like, I just was trying every second bell and well, I failed. Cause I, was... I was just trying to keep the bunny in the air. So I really <laughs> wasn't intentionally leaving bells. But I tried to remember where See, the bells I left up. behind were on the screen. So if I missed it, I could fall really? back on one. Yeah. It's easier said than done. <laughs> like, just the last one or two, roughly where they were on the screen. It's the only way you can catch yourself. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. Oh no, sorry, spoke too soon. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, get up there. It takes a little bit for the bells to come back down after you fail, so it's a natural little... Um, yeah. You can go ding, 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 ding if you're very, very quick at steering the bunny. If they're not spaced super far apart. Damn it! Okay, I'm going to hand it back to you after this one. Yeah, I'm not going to beat that last score. It's a very good run. Uh, I, that, I saved myself at least four times in that run, and I was not expecting that, so... Yeah. It is a fun, fun game. No? Okay. Well, after you fall too far, it, you're done. <laughs> I was just thinking, how can you do this two-player? You can't. <laughs> because one would go too fast, and then you just miss. It would have to be a much slower jumping up game. I got that score. Oh my goodness. Vitoko says, you must play like in Kaboom in order not need to recover. Yeah, like if you get every single bell, then, well, obviously you're going to get more points, but you'll never recover if you get all the bells. It's very satisfying getting a nice run of bells going ding, 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 ding. It is. Well, sometimes they are, like, all right in a row. Yeah. Ding, 
Ding, ding, ding, ding, ding. Good sound effects in this, too. The bell is a nice sound. Not too harsh. It's not too long. And the playfield um, stars in the background are nice because they blink. Blink a little bit. Change color a little bit. Hey, 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 be a good cat. No! Oh! That was a good run. Bunnies. Not as good as the last one, though. Woo! 863. Ooh. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. The twinkling effect is lovely. This is a really beautiful, simple game. And also addictive. Oh, boy. <laughs> it I, is really addictive. Are you hair? No, you're it's not like, getting more treats. More treats if I eat your oh, hair? Oh, no. No, baby cat. What if I chew it really good? <laughs> Shows you how hungry I am it, if I eat your hair. Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> he does like to do that for attention. These cats are very good at trying to get attention. They know exactly what triggers us. I think I may, might be slightly more relaxed today because I'm on the first day of my holiday. Hooray! So. Oh, that's why you're so doing. Nice. You did so well in this game. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm blaming for um, a somewhat relaxed state. And the chestnut ale is very nice too. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Highly recommend. I don't. You don't like Stinks. it. You don't like the oh. smell of it. Oh, one. Oh no. Oh my God! I'm having to hit bells mm. on the way down. Almost two million. That was a good run. Stop chewing the plastic. Kittens, can you... What are you doing? Hide that somewhere. I don't know where. Some bad kitties. You're Love their cat. present too much. Yeah. Thank you for getting me this plastic stick. Oh. It's very yummy. Stop eating my hair, buddy. It's not getting you any treats. Cleaning my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Did, I think. No! No! What an amazing run! 31 million! 31 million? Was it 31 million? Yeah. New high score. Boo! <laughs> oh, no. No, it was like 300 and... What are we? Three. 318 million. Oh, did I beat... Yeah. High score? 318 million. Oh. God. Good job. So Very one, good two, game. One thousand. Oh, no. 144... Billion is my high score. Billion? Yeah. Woof. Okay, that was pretty high. Yeah. So, <laughs> 144 billion was my high score. One trillion or bust, says Carl. Uh, you want to go again and then no, I'll go one more? No, I'm good. I'm I know gonna I'm not going to beat my last one. I'm enjoying my beer and playing with my kitties. <laughs> That's holidays, That's right? holidays. Beer and kitties. Yeah, not far away with the doubling. It's it's you just yeah, gotta keep the doubling fast. going. Fast. You want to get all the birds. Did miss one bird. If you can, but you, I mean, you don't want to die. No, you don't. So you do have to be careful. But you do get a feel for the movement after a while. You, you do. Which helps a lot. 
you just definitely want to ricochet off the bird and go directly to a bell, so. Ow! Oh, ow! He is very sharp. He is very sharp. Means his claws cut. He's a deadly, deadly predator. <laughs> he is a deadly predator. He says, I'm a killer! I'm a cute little killer cat. No! Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to retire on yeah, that. Yeah, retire on that. That's a pretty good <laughs> score. Carl G Yay. says, I always kill myself in games when I focus too much on the power-ups. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, one. nostalgic. He does have murder mittens. Oh, murder mittens. Oh, uh, murder mittens. That one you ha almost have to go for the power-ups. Because yeah. that's the whole name of the game. Yep. Okay, we're on to our last game of the night. It is Reindeer Rescue. Oh, okay. Oh, this feels very Christmassy. That's a, that's a, that's a... Why would that be? Portly Santa. <laughs> Portly Santa likes his cookies. Reindeer Rescue by Bob Montgomery. Uh, V-Dub Bobby. And on graphics, Nathan Strum. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I get it. Original... Oh, you can uh, go forward. Author okay, of the okay. captivating homebrew game Go Fish. In Reindeer Rescue, you must help Santa rescue his lost reindeer in a journey that is starting at the North no, Pole. No. Racing through the frozen tundra, oh ice caves, <laughs> suburbia, and the big city. Santa is not the athlete he used to be. 1943 state champion in 14, 400 meters. He has grown a little girthy around the middle. He doesn't quite have quite the energy he used to, and if it drops too low, he'll fail in his task. Along the way, oh. Santa will encounter many objects in the air and on the ground. Terrible. Oh my god. Uh, some will help, some will hinder, so be careful. Oh, this might be a non-couch compliant. No! It was made in 2006. Oh, we'll blame. Blame the oldness of it. See the um, twinkling, the lights at the bottom? That yeah. much have, that's how much time you have left. And there are things that give you more time, too. Like. There you go. Up from rooftop to rooftop. My goodness. Carl G says, I love the Imperial Walker in the background. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Bears. oh, that gives you well, points at least. Okay. Something gives you more time. I can't remember what it is. I think it's Christmas wreaths. Give you more time. Avoid that. Okay. It pushes you back. Don't want that. Peanuts! Yum, 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 yum. Or cookies. Oh, it gives you gives you more um more lights. Reindeer Rescue features in-game artwork by Nathan Strom. Reindeer Rescue began life as the 2005 holiday cart given away as part of our annual holiday sale. Collaboration between Atari, no. Bob Montgomery, Nathan no. Strom, and David Exton. No. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, still on last. Um, and let's run it. Uh, original homebrew game that was only available for limited time, numbered and limited. Ow! We decide that everyone should be able to enjoy this great homebrew and have made Reindeer Rescue available as a normal, unlimited release. The game's labels and manuals have been revised slightly to reflect this fact. I think this is still available in the Atari Age store. So my yes. high score on this is two, uh, Am I tw supposed to get the reindeer? 29, yes. Oh, okay. You have to collect all your reindeer. I, I kind of put two, two and two together. Yeah. Reindeer Rescue. Reindeer Rescue. <laughs> I mean, subtle. But it's it there. Subtle. It's in the title yeah. somewhere. <laughs> um, my score is twenty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty. Yeah, and you get. We you, you have a you have a high score. Well, just from playing. Oh, get that guy. So you can go on the bottom. There's multiple levels to go along. I uh, don't think you want that. Is it a bomb? Yeah. It looks like a bomb. I don't know what a bomb is doing on this. That but... gives you more. Lights. Oh no! Ow. You're a reindeer. Jump up that. Not too late. It didn't hurt you. That's cool. Jump. Snowflake is beautiful. Yeah, the graphics are really, really good in this, but, you know, Nathan Strum did them. So, not surprising. And the animation, too, of Santa. Really good. It's like four frames of animation. Okay, don't hit the crow, but get the sled. 
prepared. Oh. Oh, you ran out of. Lights. Oh, I ran out of time. Yep. Because okay. you missed the right. Okay. Here. Falling is rough in this game. You can't easily recover. Yeah. Yeah, you get stuck. <laughs> the snowflake is beautiful. Let's do this. So you got 12,000. Okay, I did see a Yeti in the background too. Yeah, I didn't do that one. But, uh, oh, and you're dead. You can't recover from that. <laughs> oh, rage reset. <laughs> and didn't make it very far. That was a poor first level. Poor first person. Drop off that roof. Feel free to sing along with the, the background da, music. Da, 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 and King. Oh, gives you more lights. There's words to this song? Yeah. I've never heard it. Jolly Old St. Nicholas, you know oh, this song? Oh, okay, okay, that's what it is. More lights. I usually don't hear with words. You're just used to hearing the 8-bit versions of that's songs. That's right. <laughs> Got the reindeer. Still have lots of time. It, this game has a bit of memorization, which I'm not super keen on. Uh, but, uh, just, I guess, for the levels. He is floaty, which is nice. Yeah. Is the snowmobiler chasing the polar bear in the background? <laughs> oh, uh, maybe. Possibly. Now the snowman's... Yeah, yeah, that background's fantastic, isn't it? I love the detail in there. Get that reindeer. Get that. <laughs> reindeer whistle. Good yeah, idea. Yeah. They are naughty, naughty reindeers. I think usually going higher is better than lower. Well, you can't get your reindeer back if you're if you're, if you're low. You cannot get your reindeer. For your elves. Elves. Oh. But if you go low, you get Some things other... that help your lights. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, yeah, the, the treats give you more lights. Gotcha. Uh, like that cocoa down there, which I think I have to get. The cocoa? Oh. Might be able to make it without it. You ha how many reindeer do you have to get, or how like does it two work? Two level? I think. Okay. So you've gotten one. Yeah. Or did you get two? Just one so far on this level. Mm. Well, another one better come, across, come pretty quick. Oh my. Lights oh, are burning out. Oh, they're red. They're turning red. They're the LED ones that come in different colors. Oh, maybe the sled will be enough. Oh, it was on the, the lower level. Oh, no. Oh, it's... No, I have to go low. I have to get the first reindeer and then go low immediately. Oh, no, I start later. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It means you're further along. Right? Yeah, so I'll get the reindeer. My cat butt, yes. Put your butt down. I <laughs> your butt in my face. You Can do you? need a cat butt. <laughs> Yes. It's yes, in the cat so claws. It's in the cat claws. It's in the cat claws. <laughs> that is so punny. Running out of time again. So what is your favorite Christmas tradition that you did as a kid? Not saying now, but when you were a kid, was there can, some aspect name, of Christmas that you that you liked I can name the most? My least favorite. Ones. Your least favorite. <laughs> okay, let's start with the, your least favorite okay. list. Uh, having to wait till all the parents are up, and they. Oh my God! Nope. Oh, well, they didn't give me any extra time. No, it didn't. How do you get extra time? Th those things. <laughs> the bells. Um, till the parents were up and they've had their coffee. And it takes forever, but you're allowed to open your stockings. So I did like that. Okay. That stockings were allowed yeah. in my family anyway. Um, and our traditions didn't include opening one present before mm. everybody got up or one present the night before, which always seems a little silly to do a present the night before because you have to go to bed. Yeah. It's like, oh, here's your present. Go to bed. Well, but I mean, a lot of, in a lot of traditions, uh, people go to mass and open their presents after midnight mass, right? Then so, they still have to go to bed. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I think I have to go down. But it, 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 it's very 
different culture to culture. It is, and region to region, yeah. and family to family. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh, God. Faster? Oh, it's faster, yeah, which is good. I think that presence oh, down there to just lower you. got it. Oh, I think my that was great. Oh, it's getting darker. This is the city level, I think. I think, oh no, smoosh. Um, yeah, it looks like, oh, do again. I've got a kettle okay. in my lap. Um, what was I going to say? 27, did I beat? No, nope, 29,950 is my high score. Oh boy. So I have to go past that part. Level one's very straightforward. Okay, what's your favorite? My favorite. Oh, that's a good. You know, I was always. What a, were your traditions? I, I, when I was a little kid, I always really enjoyed um, putting out the cookies and milk and the um, <laughs> uh, carrot for for Rudolph oh, when I yes, was a kid. Carrot, yeah. And then in the morning there'd be crumbs on the plate half and like half carrot. a half-eaten carrot. <laughs> that's cute. I always really enjoyed that when I was a kid. That just seemed magical to me. Um, was. What about least favorite? <laughs> Did we, you have to wait? And were your parents really, we, really so slow? We were allowed to get up early and let our parents sleep in and of open course. our stocking. Uh, yep, okay. And then, yes, we did have to wait to eat breakfast. Um, so we so very clearly breakfast? had the same parents growing up. <laughs> well, we're both British. Yeah, I mean, some of those traditions, I suppose. Uh, um, uh, God. Uh, yeah, they're carryovers from, I'm guessing, some British. Especially the yeah, stockings. This, Yeah. So I remember hearing on somewhere the other day that somebody didn't have stock or didn't have stockings till they came oh some here? comedian oh. no till they had a uh, girlfriend or boyfriend um, and then they had a stocking and they're like what what is this yeah <laughs> okay and now it's part of their tradition yeah just to have stockings um, if anybody doesn't what know what else? that is it's I think most people have some of version this? of of Christmas stockings up. Oh my goodness, you got caught! Oh no. My mother's family Santa delivered the whole tree. Oh wow. What? Was it actually trimmed or did you guys Santa deliver the tree and then you trim the tree? Wow. That's that's, that's really interesting. That's interesting. I've never yeah. heard that one before. Yeah. My mom talked about growing up because she grew up in a city. Yeah. Um, the stocking was by the bed, not by the fireplace. Oh, so Santa. Risky. Santa, Santa would, could wake you up. Yeah, I mean, would would that, have to go in the room after you were asleep. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, German. Ah, I see. German. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. So I remember her telling me that. Um. Mm. Oh. Kind of just fun. message you up for a it bit. It does. If there's no danger, you can just jump into it. It's funny. I'm trying to think what other traditions. Um, oh, I should have gone for that cookie down there. Oh, I, I did always like getting a sip of my mother's sherry after she she <laughs> cooked Christmas dinner. And so it began. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she would make Christmas dinner, and of course, you know, that was a lot of work. And oh, then she would yeah, take a break while it was while while it was cooking, and she'd sit down, and she'd always have a glass of sherry. So, very that is very British, but that was I'm uh, sure it, uh, dinner involved dumplings or not dumplings, but uh, Yorkshire puddings. No, no, not, not for Christmas. No, we, we we kind of had the more North American tradition traditional dinner was with ham? with no no turkey. No one I hated ham, so we never okay. had ham. Um, not a big ham fan. Uh, yeah, it was usually turkey. It was okay. usually turkey. Carl G, I was a weird kid. I got a block of blue cheese in my stocking because I liked it so much. <laughs> you know what? If you liked it, you should get it in your stocking. A block of blue cheese. <laughs> Mom, can I have blue cheese again this year? <laughs> oh, of course you can, little Carl. No, it was Santa. Santa oh. brought him the, the blue cheese. Well, then he would write a letter to Santa. Yeah. Dear Santa, uh, can I have blue cheese oh, again this that's year? Cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. We would get a lot of oh God, toiletries. Helps. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh yeah, the toothbrush, uh, the toothbrushes floss. and floss, and lots of stuff in our stockings. Um, 
My mom was a dental hygienist, so... Oh, so Santa also liked to take care of his teeth? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> Oh. Ah. oh, beer pocock Santa got whiskey at our house, too. <laughs> oh, lucky Santa. Oh, I don't remember us leaving whiskey out for Santa. Okay, mm. you want to go again? Oh, sure. Then I'll play some more. Yeah. When I was a kid, dances. When I was a kid, my mom would put out liquor and cookies for Santa. Nice. The reason she told us is because Santa would get tired of milk and cookies <laughs> by the time he got to our house. That, that makes That's, sense. Oh, no. That was bad. Don't look at the controller. <laughs> You're like, mm -hmm. Controller. It is. It's not the controller, it's me, but... <laughs> well, Santa came early for the kitties. They got their toy. Yeah, we didn't get too much for the cats because they have a huge basket oh, of toys. so many toys. Out of control how many toys these cats have. And um, it's funny, we put them all back in the basket and they will dig out their favorites. No oh, matter yeah. how far down they're buried, yeah. they will dig they them know out. What they're, they know what toys they like. And um, the gray cat, Atari, loves his fluffy bunnies. Yeah, he has two bunnies. He loves, loves to eat some bunnies. So. Yeah. He'll shake them, he'll throw them up in the air, they're, and then catch them with his claws. Yeah, they're funny cats. Um, Sprite is not so big into the toys. No, he likes a jingle ball. He does like to steal uh, pens a lot. Yes. And he, he has a little he has a little cat bed, and so we'll find I'll find my work pens in his cat bed. <laughs> what does the snow drift do? Oh, oh it pushes you back, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it pushes you back, and the tornado just shoots you off into random areas. Yeah, the flake is yeah that. That one pushes you back, the spinning snow. Yeah. The graphics in this are just outstanding. Yeah, they're really great. Get that elf. It's just points. So on this level, you want to go low first. You think so? Get that mug. And then go up and then up. Yep, and get the reindeer. Because I think you run out of... You just run out of time. You run out of juice. Yep. Jump into it. Show them what it does. Oh. I want to win the game. <laughs> I want to win the game. Oh, down to two lights. One light. Oh, you could have got the cookie. Would the cookie have helped me? No. Uh... It would have given you a little bit more, a little I think. A bit of power? Oh. I don't know if this is the right time to be. On the down. lower? Yeah. Oh, oh the gaming. cold. Oh, oh, fine. Yeah. Now you want to be up there, I think. I don't remember. Jump into it! Whee! <laughs> ah! It throws you e either way, it's randomized. Memorization. <laughs> Unless I don't mind that if like there's a map and a navigator, then it's like okay, then I can then I can deal with it. Like if we map this out, it's like okay, go low, then go high, and it's like oh that's fine. They give you lots of power-ups in the first level and no decisions. <laughs> it's a tutorial level. It is. Cookies. What else did you get in your Christmas stockings? We always got an orange. Oh yeah, orange that was just in the very toe. Traditional. Yeah. Um, 
orange in the toe, always um, floss and toothbrushes. Floss and toothbrushes. I love that your mom wanted to make sure you had good dental hygiene. It worked. Still have all my teeth. I mean Santa. No I mean cavities. Santa. Yeah, Santa was concerned about my teeth health as well. Never had a cavity. All my own teeth. Come on. Come on. Um, oh, yeah, we would uh, clean up the packaging as time went on. Mm. Um, so it wouldn't make a massive mess. Um, also, one year, a um, gift card was lost in the mess. And I think that's after that is <gasps> when we started cleaning up while we were uh, oh, opening presents. Yeah, it was like, afterwards it was like, where's my gift card? It's oh, like, and it got just thrown gone. out. Oh, no. It's thrown out somewhere. That's a life lesson for you right there. Clean yep. up after your mess. Or keep all your presents aside on one, Did one area. Did you have to write thank you cards? <laughs> no. Thank goodness. So I had a lot of relatives living <laughs> overseas, and I was basically forced to spend New Year's Day writing thank you notes. <laughs> um, so in Day. order to okay. remember what gifts our, our family members gave us, my dad would oh, sit there right. Write it with, all with a piece right. of um, uh, graph paper uh, with all the, all the squares, <laughs> nice. and he would create a table, and in the table on the left-hand column, he'd have everyone's name, and then um, he would have all of our names... And then, you know, you know, myself, my sister, and, like, my mom and my dad. And he would diligently write down everything <laughs> we got from every family member. Yep. And if we started opening presents too fast, oh, go he, would, he would yell at us and we'd have to slow down. <laughs> and so we had to trauma. wait for him to... to Christmas trauma. <laughs> to to uh, basically document every gift we received. <laughs> I mean, uh, let's face it. I I like spreadsheets, so yeah, you wonder... know, I that I figured that's where I got it from. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. And uh, and then we would get the table on on New Year's Day, and we'd have to sit at our dining table, and we'd have to write thank you notes. You know, Auntie uh, Auntie Jan Jackie, thank you very much for the Cadbury. Um, Christmas chocolate collection. Uh, I liked it very much. And then you'd have to think up, you know, something something nice to say, uh, you know, about your gift and that you hope they had a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what I spent. I spent the second half of my holidays doing. Oh, so sad. <laughs> well, I, you know what? It was kind of sweet. And kids probably don't do that now. No. Nope. Um, but it was... No, oh, I did that no. last time. <laughs> Oh, the thing is infuriating. Um, uh, but, you know, that's that's just what Christmas was. We had a lot of relatives that were very far away from us. So yeah. My parents wanted to make sure that we were thankful no! for the gifts we got. <laughs> was the gift yeah, lesson? Yeah, <laughs> color-coded. No, but it was very neatly handwritten. I do remember that. Somewhere, there's an envelope full of lists of oh. Christmas gifts. You think he kept it? No. no, I kind of wish he did though. Your every gift you've ever get Yeah. <laughs> That's what leads to hoarding. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, data hoarding, yes. Well, yeah, if you scanned it all, then that's fine. Like the gifts are long gone, but yeah, it's quite possible the lists the lists are still around somewhere. Nice game over text, yeah, yeah. Oh, I I, about I really this. like the holly. The holly is a really nice uh, design. Yeah. Everything about this game is so good. This game was given away uh, when you ordered stuff uh, during that year. It was brought up recently, and Al says, Oh, yeah, we should start that up again. I think it was in the forums. Yeah. First of all, somebody has to make a Christmas game first. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I didn't notice any any Christmas games no, this year? Not this year, or at least winter holiday not themed yet. games. Yeah. And sometimes they release them like after Christmas is over because they're like, well, they might on it start and it like, ah. and they never quite get it. Yeah, that's fair So I'm fair like, enough. oh, I didn't get to play it this year. Yeah, I but then put you it can, to next year. You can put it to next year at least. Al wants to create more. 
That's yeah. that's his motto. More work for himself. More work for Al. Yeah. the optimal route is, but should do this in an after dark one day and graph it all out. I want to get to the end of this game. Because it's not randomized. Each level is exactly the oh, same Oh no, it is time. exactly the same. So there is an end to this game. It is memorization. is low. Or did you die? It's like, oh, you, you want need, the sleigh? You need that cookie. Get up there! What are you doing? Oh, I, I got stuck. I was jumping. <laughs> what are you doing, but you, Santa? But if you jump when Keep you're, like, running. stuck up right against it, you're, you're dead. Okay. Now I have to go up. I think you're right. I think the uh, reindeer comes soon. Yep. Don't go low. There's a present. It's like, oh, you want the present? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I don't want the present. Oh, hi, Black Kitten. Almost time. Hi, baby uh, cat. It is. It's like, oh, you want the present? No, don't go for the present. No. You will die of one thing left. Okay, this is the level I would die on because of the thing that it's throws. Fast. Yeah, this one. Dodge it. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> no! Uh... <laughs> that jumping those buildings with the trees is really is quite challenging, really actually. Hard. It's, it's one of the hardest parts of, of the level. Because you can't get stuck on. No. You want that. <laughs> I love the music. The music's fantastic too. Every level has its own music. Its own Christmas Oh my god! Carol. I made it. Oh, oh my god. That works. <sighs> that works. Nice. There's always a present uh, tempting you. I don't know if I should have got that. But yeah. Right now. Yeah, Nostalgia says the first level is hard for the same reason. It starts with buildings rather than a hill. Ooh, arrow's going back. Oh, that, that might have slows been helpful. you down. Or bad, because... <laughs> You're getting quite violent there. Oh, it's so bad. I don't know what that is. It's Santa's list. Santa's list. I was like, why is Santa's toilet paper up in there? <laughs> <laughs> this level is brutal. No! Oh! oh. oh. Come on, reindeer. Where are you? No, I can't jump on that. I'll die. Oh my god! No! Oh. That was a good run. Oh. That was a good run. <sighs> Where do I start now? Hopefully not right back at the beginning. Nope. So, do you have to get to reindeer again, or have the reindeer you've caught... Right to... Uh, no, one counts. Matter. If it does. Okay. If you've already got one... Then you I just I made need a second. It. Yeah, I think I made it to a checkpoint. Maybe that might help. Maybe it might hinder, it's actually. As long as I don't get caught on something. Come on, reindeer. Come on. I want to make it to the next... Oh, my God. Is this where I am? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty far. No, you don't want it. Ah, oh, there's no way. Once you fall down, you're that's it. You're hooped. Yep. You're hooped. Thirty-five. New high score for nice. me. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hurt. Mapping won't hurt, help on that level. Yeah. It is all jumping. There's no decisions. Oh, oh, he's vicious. But don't vicious. touch me. We need to cut your claws. Oh yeah, they are daggers. Yeah. Um, highly recommended if you like platformers. It is. It is challenging platform. It's really fun. Yeah. Very festive. Perfect for this that's time. That's why of year. I picked it again because I haven't played it in four or five years. Mm. So, and I wanted to try and get better. That level. That level is brutal. <laughs> Obviously, I've never passed that level. But. Um. So that's it. It's all the games. Wow. Yep. A All good selection of games. Yep. I love that Bunny Bell game. Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. And it looks so good, too. And the highest scoring game on the 2600, I don't even know how high it goes. Yeah. I almost made it to it, a I trillion. bet it goes across the screen. I yeah, bet, I bet it going. just keeps going. Yeah. 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 
Thank you, Carl G. Thank you, Carl G. Yeah. Um, uh, Rodrigo says, thank you and have a good holiday and things. We will have good things. So that's it for the season. We're going on a little break. A little break until the new year. Yeah, it's only a week now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really it's, that it's long. It's not that long. No. Yeah, just because, you know, we have to do Christmassy things, yeah. holiday things, you know, give, give presents to the cats. Clip the cat's nails. That's what we have to do. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. He don't is do that. sharp. He is very, You're very sharp. sharp. So the cats got their gifts, and we'll open our presents. And too they got in a their treats days. too. That was a pretty exciting they got, treat. To they got their catnip competition. They got their treats. So the cats are all full. Yeah. They're happy. They're all relaxed. Um, but uh, in the new year, we have uh, more stuff. Let's see what it is. Um, see what we have planned out we have a little bit planned out that's cat don't please Kiss nostalgic me. you too i hope you get some well-deserved time off over this holiday season yes everybody can take a break from programming for a little bit yes. and <laughs> relax so let's see what we have coming up Fitoka says no christmas unboxing show possibly <laughs> we, we could unboxing. yeah we did uh, <laughs> that was Atari eight, H day just did an eight hour unboxing <laughs> possibly on New Year's Eve we maybe will have a couple of things to unbox by then but yeah we'll show off what we got yeah, but, uh... Um, and we'll be playing some playing some more games um, possibly most likely going for high scores yes yeah or we might play some games that uh, we just got actually that we just unboxed Oh yeah, that would be good. There's a bunch of we games haven't had much much of a chance to play. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be, be good. really good too. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. New Year's Eve special. We're actually yes. counting down. There's gonna be a clock on the screen, mm -hmm. counting down to our midnight. But we'll be celebrating all across North Americas at least. Oh, might as well. Yep. Even celebrate each even time Newfoundland. zone. Even Newfoundland. Even <laughs> Newfoundland. <laughs> <laughs> Their half hour. Uh, yeah, Christmas Eve. Uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, and then we're going to be having a four-player special maybe in January. I want to try it for it in January. <laughs> Might be February, but I think January would be better. Because in February, mm -hmm. that's when it hypes up into award season. Mm -hmm. uh, the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Award nominee Ooh, reveal. Hoo, hoo, hoo. February 2nd. February 2nd. That's nice. when the best of the best, the top six in each category, are going to mm -hmm. be revealed. And the voting starts. Wow. And then we play through every nominated game. That's so cool. Uh, 2600, 7800, 5200, Jaguar, and Lynx, and 8-bit games. Nice. So that keeps us very busy through the through the half first half of February. And then, or yeah, three quarters through the February, uh, the uh, sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards are on February 24th. Exciting. It is. We put up the green screen and yes. uh, put the cats in bow ties yes. and get dressed up ourselves. <laughs> and uh, we see what uh, the people vote on. Yes. See what the best games are of the year. And we hand out the awards. So you'll have to get uh, going on those. Making up a whole ton of awards. I have a lot of awards to do. Yep. I have to I have get my molds ready before before the reveal of the winners, right? So um, yes, I'm going to work on that after I get back from holidays. Because so. now that we put people's names on the awards, yes, they go. You can't finish them until no, but I can get I can get the presentation ready, is so. done. That's good. Yeah, because we really don't know till just before. So yeah. pretty yeah. much they're made after. Yeah, um, much. So we won't even have. An award. <laughs> we'll have a blank award. Maybe we can make one. You'll be doing testing. I can make one. So you can for make us. a zero page. Yeah. 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 Make a zero I page can make one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Nostalgic says your midnight is late for uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's late for everyone because yeah, we're on the true. west coast. Except for Alaskans. Yeah. And Hawaiians. That's not too bad for them. It'd be early for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our Hawaii Hawaii's um the day we're in. They're not the next day. Right. Well, they're not. They're not that far off the the coast. Like today's Tuesday. Like they're in the they're middle in, of the Pacific. They're in Tuesday. Yes. They're not in uh, Wednesday. It doesn't wrap. No, around. other way, other way. Australia is in Wednesday today. No, but that's because they 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 flip around. Yeah. Um, it's later out east. It's earlier out west. So it's earlier. Early in Hawaii. In Hawaii. But it's still Tuesday in Hawaii. Yes. Today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They don't flip over. Yeah. Yeah. Two hours behind two us. Two hours. Yeah. Okay. They're not We're, that far. We will not be celebrating their New this Year's. This side of the dateline. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. 
uh yeah though that's that's the big stuff that's coming up mm. um oh yeah i want to do a tabletop game special uh because we've done a vectrex one so we'll point the camera at some tabletop games That'll be fun. Oh, are you going to pull Darcy in and he can bring a whole bunch of... Oh, those tabletops. Not, not board I, games. I was thinking board games for a second there. Yes, tabletop. That would yeah, be we're fun. Not playing those. No. <laughs> if we if we were to do board games, there are some Pac-Man and there's oh, some video yeah, game board true. games. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. We do have one. What is it? Space Invaders. Do we? Yeah. We do have one. Mm. But we're not doing that. Um, uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, and we'll be doing Vectrex again. And we want to do a four-person day. Yep, that's that. I already said that one. Oh, you did. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Four-player, four-player special yep. in January sometime. Yeah. Um, I'll still want to do a C64 one. I don't think we've ever done one, have we? No. I don't, I don't think, think so. we have. I've played Impossible Mission. That's it. I think that's the only C64 game. Let's see. Oh, let's collapse that. Hide that. Archives. Yeah. Oh no, we did. Yeah. Did we do C sixty four? Twenty twenty two, August twelfth. Twenty twenty two. Wow. For the C sixty four's fortieth anniversary. Oh, there we go. And That's then I, I played Impossible Mission. I remember. Did that. you at the end? Uh, and After Dark, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Same yeah, day. That was fun. Very nice. Yeah. I, I'm always up for playing that. Even Alaska so. still. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not much far off of us. <laughs> That's only an hour off us. I believe. I have no idea. Okay. I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. If they're, if they're on Pacific time. They're not. No. They're one over. Okay. I think, I can't remember what it's called. What is Alaska's time zone called? I'd be interested to see Erlen play Archon. Oh, I love Archon. Oh, that would be good. It's, it, Archon only has a tiny bit of strategy. Like chess. It's like the strategy. barest of chess strategy. Yeah. Like there's special spots you need to land on that gives you more power and if you're light, light squares give you more power. If you're dark, dark squares give you more power. So there's a bit of strategy, but mostly it comes down to the arenas where you fight each other. Uh, C64 special. All 10,000 games, 10 seconds each. There we go. Keep your basilisk and unicorns alive. Yes. Fast moving, fast shooting. Oh, gotcha. They are the best. Um, okay. I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today for our Holiday Homebrew Special. Yep. Captain Classic. Nostalgia. Uh, B.R. Pocock. Carl G. Vitoko. Dan AVC. Chitlatla. Rendered Ghost. Gamer Composer. Um, what else we got? Uh, Hugh Jass. Captain Classic. Probably nice. said that name. VVG Double Down. Uh, um, Miss Command. Ivory Tower Collections. Eight, Atari 800 XL Rules. And way, 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 way back, Muddy Funster. Thank nice. you so much for allowing us to debut your yes. awesome Wilf game. I can't wait for more levels. It's so cute. I'm very excited. More enemies. It's a really fun game, too. Yes. And so cute. Super, super Incredibly cute. Incredibly cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, happy holidays. Yes. Whizball. Well, we'll be playing homebrew stuff. Yeah. Just want to keep it on theme. Um, yeah, Whizball. Actually, we played a game recently that was like Whizball. It was that bouncing ball. Mm -hmm. Remember? You have to collect things and colors and fill up things with colors. No, you <laughs> don't. That's a very vague statement, so no. Yeah, you're bouncing and there's a lower level and an upper level and you go through tunnels to get to another oh. thing. Oh! Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're a yes. wizard that's bouncing in there? Yeah. It's very yeah. strange. Yeah. Yep. Got it. <laughs> yump. Ooh, actually, there's a 2600 Yump that was part of Silly Venture Winter Edition. Okay. That was uh, made by KK Al Altair. And it's there's no binary release for it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I want to play it. And he hasn't been yes. back to the Atari age forums in forever. Oh, no. So I'm like, I can't even get in touch with him. Oh, that's a shame. So hopefully he knows. puts it out. So yeah. yeah, if anybody knows how to, if he's posted it somewhere. Yeah. But by this time, I'll I'll check some regular places that other than Atari Age. There are yeah. places other than Atari Age <laughs> that people post uh, binaries. Mm -hmm. um, usually they're more focused on eight bit stuff. So thanks for tuning in, yeah. and uh, we'll be back on New Year's. That's the next show. That will be. So we will see you on New Year's. Have a great holiday yeah. and uh, come back for us to count down till midnight. Till midnight. Yeah. Happy holidays, say, everyone. Happy holidays. Say bye, kittens. Bye. Say meow. Happy holidays. Meow. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs>